I've been reviewing my own videos and texts. See why even I need a hundred videos, two hundred blog posts, things like that. Why can't I say it succinctly? Why do I keep studying when I think I have the essence? When the essence is obviously revealed, then it's only for us to find. Is it necessary for me to study these texts continually to find the deeper essence? Or am I lacking something and not stopping my deep sea diving? Is it possible that I have found the pearl? And now it's only up to me to, whenever asked a question, reveal that pearl. Must I study it and be an expert in every detail before I actually speak out? Am I limiting, limiting myself by continually looking for applications of this pearl? These are the questions that I have as I speak to you today. And I can tell you, let me reveal to you the entire secret. The entire secret is revealed in the name Ain Sof. And the first part of that name, Ain. In Kabbalah there's a level called Ain Sof. Then there's a, Kabbalah, a level theoretically below that called Ain means negative, negation. Once you understand the principle of negation, and that the principle of negation is the highest level, just that principle itself, the most misunderstood principle in our daily encounters, Negativity is the highest level of consciousness. This is revealed to us by dialectics, by the Briska method, by the Socratic method, by Hegel, by negative numbers in mathematics, by negation in sentences, by the negation that enters and opens the unconscious, these levels can only be opened by negativity, by the negative. The negative is actually just a juxtaposition of the original position, the original positive. If I make a statement, if anybody else makes a statement, it's immediately negative to my statement. Otherwise, it would be silence. So the entire Talmudic framework is based on negation and a dialectic between two groups like Beth Shammai and Beth Hillel. Do they really have these opposite positions or do they only take these positions to establish a dialectic, a conversation? I tell you that all you need to know is aim. I am. Aim. So all you need to know, the negation, 
The principle of negation. It's not the idea of being positive or uh, positive psychology. It's, it's quite the reverse. It's quite the negative psychology. This negation is of a higher aspect than the positive. The positive can only get you to your statement, to the seen, but the negation gets you to the unseen. It includes the unseen in the seen. It gives you a springboard for further growth. Growth is in the negation, in the destruction. That's where growth lies. So this principle of negation, negative theology of Maimonides, the whole principle of negation is what I'm giving you, fostering upon you. Once you understand this principle of negation, you apply that seed of negation to whatever you're doing. So you bring that to your Talmudic tractate. You bring that to your business problem. Don't fear negation. Don't fear loss. Embrace it. Look for it. That's how we know that this is Olam Haba. Because what looks like negation is really our greatest growth. What looks like negative is really positive. And they do that for us in math. When you multiply a negative by a negative, you get a positive number. We do that in English grammar. When there's a double negative in a sentence, it's really a positive. This principle of negation is not accepted in the society because the society wants to control you, but once you enter into the principle of negation, you're freed. Your mind is freed by truth. So that's what I'm bringing you here in this longish, short video. I bring you the principle of negation, the aim of the Ain Saf. Even in those highest levels, there has to be two to be juxtaposed against each other. That's why Ain Saf is two. It's part of my two-ness. The Ain of Saf. No end. The principle of negation gives you this circularity, the circle. So the underlying thing that I'm bringing you is negation, which you don't hear too much of these days in the Protestant positive thinking world. Jewish world is the world of negation. And these are the high concepts that have been revealed within philosophy. The is it still okay to study and learn detail? Yes. It's 
repetitive, however. It brings pleasure. It brings more knowledge. It brings the ability to give more detail and more flavor. But is it necessary? No. Once you have the essence, then you can take that essence anywhere to any problem. But once you found the essence, the search is over. That essence is the principle of negation, the negative in general.